in the dead of night at Green Bamboo Upper Class Area, Jinhai City. Shai Feng held a folder of documents as he sat silently on the leather sofa. Gazing at the pool outside through the French window, Shai Feng was filled with both frustration and unwillingness. He was the captain of Shadow, one of the Jinhai City's top four gaming workshops. He had commanded a guild of tens of thousands of people. Even more, he was the Jin High City's famous expert. He was the sword magician. However, now that the only thing he could do was drink away his sorrows inside his home, ten years he had spent in gaming, ten years he had fought in blood-soaked battles, he experienced countless trials of suffering. Under his leadership, Shadow had successfully established ten city-states in God's domain. They were finally co capable of rivaling the first-rate guilds. However, before he could enjoy any of that endless glory, a single document had turned everything into passing smoke. Once it was gone, it was never coming back. Shai Fen never thought his ten years of effort would just go to waste. He fact sacrificed so much just for the game, and yet all he did was pave the way for others to the end. All of this accumulated because he had opposed the decision for Shadow to join the Super Guild World Dominators. It wasn't even the next day before a land who financial group gave him their reply. He had to delete his level 200 sword king, the account he had spent 10 years of blood and sweat on, and to collect a settlement check from the financial department. All he had received was a million credits in a single mansion. When compared to the established 10 city-states inside the money-generating virtual kingdom, it couldn't even be considered a drop in the ocean. Shai Fen thought about how much he had contributed to Shadow. He thought about how his efforts had turned Lan Hai groups into a fi large financial group. Then he thought about how they still threw him away, as if he was no different from garbage. Shai Fen swore he would take revenge for their actions. I won't just let this go. At worst, I'll just start over. Shai Feng's eyes flashed with confidence and resolution. His eyes tore from the termination contract into, into little pieces. Grabbing the bottle of wine from the tabletop, he gulped it down several mouthfuls. Even if he no longer had his Sword King account, even if he no longer was, had his team support, the skills and knowledge he obtained from the game would not betray him. As long as the skills remained, he could still rise once more within God's domain. He could rebuild a virtual kingdom of his own. Early morning, the sun had just risen. DDD. The phone alarm rang continuously. Shai Fen woke up resentful. He helplessly reached for his phone by the bedside. The effects from yesterday's drinking still loomed over him. Hey, what's up? Brother Fang, it's me, Blackie. You're still asking what's up? Didn't we agree to become professional gamers? Shadow Workshop is recruiting at our school today. Haven't you always wanted to become Shadow's core member? Shai Fang was slightly confused. Lai Hu Financial Group just fired him, so why would he attend Shadow's examination? Brother Fang, Brother Fang, can't you hear me? They're testing at 10 o'clock. If you don't hurry up, you're not going to make it. Blackie, stop joking around. I just got fired from Shadow. Fired? Brother Fen, how much did you drink yesterday? Even now, you're still not awake. How could you be fired if Shadow hasn't even recruited anybody until now? Alright, just come quickly. Blackie cut the call before Shai Fang could respond. When Shai Fang looked at his phone in a daze, he discovered that his old and broken down iPhone 6 was not in his phone. His phone was the latest iPhone 12. Immediately, Shai Fang inspected his surroundings. What met his eyes was a messy room, no larger than a 15 square meter. All around there were books uh, on gaming strategies. At the corner of his room above the study table, there was an extremely outdated laptop. Within the wardrobe by the wall, there were clothes messily piled with together. Inside the wardrobe, there was a mirror, a mirror that currently showed a familiar face. Shai Fang jumped up in shock when he saw this extremely familiar face. How have I become young again? Shai Fang immediately walked toward his mirror. Only after looking at the mirror, at the reflection shown on it over and over, did Shai Fang confirm that he had indeed become young again. He slept in his luxurious and spacious bedroom yesterday, but now he was in this broken down place after waking up. Not only that, he had also become young again. Shai Feng could still recall some of the memories regarding this place. He lived here ten years ago, for over six months. Shai Feng rented this place in reluctance, also that he could play God's Domain while also attending university. Only after he had earned some money in God's Domain had he rented a large condominium. Shai Fei thought back to those arduous years. His family circumstances at that time weren't in good shape. For Shai Feng to return to university, his parents had racked up some debts. Even so, Shai Feng's parents still made sure to send him sufficient living expenses every month, taking on the suffering themselves in, in return. 
Shai Feng wholeheartedly wanted to change his family circumstances. However, finding a well-paying job while the streets were filled with university graduates was tremendously hard. So he had thought of the highly profitable virtual reality games, setting professional gamers as his goal. He even bought a virtual gaming helmet, training arduously within the game to improve his skills. During that time, bread and instant noodles became his daily meals. To save money, he had also avoided participating in social gatherings held by his classmates, causing him to become an invisible existence in his class. The boys would look at him with disdain, while the girls would distance themselves from him. Every time Shai Feng went shopping for cup noodles, his wallet had, would have no more than ten credits. He did not even dare buy a ham sandwich that only cost a single credit. In pity, the female salesperson there had offered him the ham sausage at a discount at her rate. However, the feeling of his empty wallet made Shai Feng refuse with great reluctance. Is someone playing a prank on me? Shai Feng stared at his younger self through the mirror and at the familiar surroundings. Shai Feng couldn't help but shake his head, denying such a conclusion. Even America, as the world's most developed country, didn't have such rejuvenating technology. Besides, who would play such a joke with a poor old uncle like him? Shai Feng looked at the time on his watch. 19 April 2129. Don't tell me I've been reincarnated. Shai Feng's face revealed a bitter smile. He remembered today was the 5th of August in the year 2139. He couldn't possibly be in April of 2129. They hear he was still attending university? Shai Feng shared, shook his head, trying to wake himself up. Yet deep down, he still held on to the third of hope, wishing that he could be reincarnated, returning to the time 10 years ago. He walked toward the desk, powering up the laptop. Even if the time on his phone couldn't be fake, the information on the internet definitely couldn't. After surfing the web for several minutes, Shai Feng was utterly devastated. All the information he found on the internet showed that today was indeed 19 of April 2129. Even the highly anticipated official release date of God's Domain was clearly displayed on its official site, counting down to six days from now, the 25th of April. I really have been reincarnated. Did I really come back to ten years ago? Shai Feng firmly stared at the news report of God's Domain, emotional tears leaking from the corners of his eyes. Shai Feng's feelings were hard to describe at that moment. He felt both regret, sadness, and joy. It was as if everything was before him was just a dream. Nonetheless, the chirping of insects and the cold wind blown from the air conditioner told him otherwise, that everything was real. Looking at his phone at the family photo he took when he entered university, Shai Feng never realized that his parents had white hair. The corners of his mother's eyes had even wrinkles. They were no longer as lively as before. They were truly old now. A year and a half had passed since God's domain was released, when Shai Feng noticed how aged his parents were. The large amounts of debt, excessive laboring, and stress had caused both his parents to fall ill, gravely ill. Hearing them required millions of credits, but during that time, Shai Feng was merely a squad captain in shadow. The money he earned was far from enough to foot such expensive costs. Shai Feng tried everything to collect enough money, yet it was still not enough. Even with trying his all, Shai Feng's parents still left him in a few months later. In his previous life, he failed to care for his parents properly. How could he have known of the pain and suffering? After Shai Feng earned millions of credits, this pain remained within Shai Feng's heart forevermore. Never would he have thought fate would play such a joke on him. He unexpectedly returned at the starting point, starting back up from zero. Great! This is just too great! <laughs> Since I have been reincarnated, I have to change everything. I will earn enough money to cure mom and dad, and I will let them live a life without worry. Shai Feng sw silently swore to himself as he wiped away the tears. Just when Shai Feng was planning for his future, Blackie's call came ringing again, continuously urging Shai Feng to go quickly from to university for the test. Yet Shai Feng didn't rush. He dressed at a relaxed pace, tidying himself up before heading out to Jin High University. He could not be more familiar with Shadow. Shai Feng still remembered it was while he was still attending university, Lu Hu Gu Pri Sun Lai Hai Kuang started up Shadow's workshop to enter God's domain. Lai Hai Luang also invested considerable funding into the recruitment of the students' experts of Ji of Hai University. Shai Feng participated in Shadow's examination at the time, successfully becoming a core member of the workshop, whereas Blackie became an outer member. Shai Feng had been happy for quite some time after that incident. After three years of being under the leadership of Shai Feng, Shadow Workshop allowed Han Hu Group to greatly profit from the God's Domain, quickly becoming a large financial group. However, Shai Feng would never have thought that Lang Huai Long would be the first to fire him personally. Since he had been reincarnated, he had an absolute advantage within God's domain that others did not. Naturally, he would not be joining Shadow to become a tool that profited others. He wanted to walk a different path, a path where he fought not for others, but for himself. 
He wanted to remove the need for his parents to send him living expenses. He wanted to pay back all the debt they had collected. To do that, he wanted to venture to start his own workshop, to start his own company, and to build his own virtual kingdom, all to live a better life. As soon as Shai Fang arrived at Teacher in Block 1, he caught sight of a thin, tall figure in front of the building. The tanned youth was pacing around the hallway in a panic. This person was Blackie. Brother Fang, have you finally decided to show up? Unfortunately, registration hasn't closed yet, so let's hurry in and sign up, Blackie said anxiously after seeing Shai Fang. Shai Fang shook his head, seriously saying, Blackie, I'm not joining Shadow. I'm opening my own workshop. Will you join me? Blackie was someone Shai Fang met in another virtual reality game, and the former had pretty good skills. The two of them had faced many challenges together, and they were no different from true brothers at this point. During their time together working in Shadow, Blackie showed great talent in administration. Even though he lacked the talent in gaming, he managed the hundreds of thousands of guild members cleanly and orderly. If Shai Fang had Blackie's help this time, his plans would be one step further. Yet he would respect Blackie's decision regardless. It was because Shai Fang had nothing right now, and Blackie's family circumstances were not that well either. Blackie had only chosen to become a professional gamer and join Shadow to earn some credits for a living expensive. Blackie blinked at Shai Feng's words, lowering his head in silence. It was just too sudden. Not only that, the Shai Feng he saw today felt different. Unlike his usual impatient attitude, Shai Feng currently gave off an unshakable and confident aura. After a full minute, Blackie raised his head to look at Shai Feng. Brother Feng, stop speaking nonsense. Do you know how much a virtual gaming headset helmet cost? That's 8,000 credits. You also need at least six people to start up a workshop. What about the workplace, salary, and everything else? Just the initial startup fund requires 70 or 80,000. There are also follow up investments. That's a lot of credits. Do you have that many credits right now? Blackie was very aware of Shai Feng's circumstance. He knew Shai Feng's household wasn't well off, so he wanted to persuade Shai Feng away from this sort of crazy thinking. You're right. Right now, I don't even have the credits for God Domain's virtual gaming helmet. Shai Feng nodded his head in a minute. It was like Blackie said even just 70 or 80,000 considering a small amount. Shai Feng recalled Lan Huai had spent over 5 million credits for the 100-man workshop he had recruited. He also spent more in the later stages to upgrade the workshop's quality and strength. Since this is so, rather than taking the risk, wouldn't it be better safer to join Shadow? At the very least, Shadow can provide us with ga virtual gaming helmets, otherwise forget about becoming professional gamers. We couldn't even play the game. Seeing that Shai Feng understood the core of the problem, Blackie sighed in relief as he pulled Shai Feng into the teaching block. Shai Feng shook away Blackie's hand, sternly staring at Blackie before saying in a grave tone, I still plan on starting my own workshop. I don't want to be controlled by others. So Blackie, will you join me? Shai Feng would not insist to Blackie since he did not have any guarantees. He also couldn't reveal the secret that he had been reincarnated. He could only hope Blackie would believe in him. Seeing Shai Feng's serious expression, Blackie felt Shai Feng was acting weird today. This was madness. Everyone knew you couldn't earn money during the initial periods of virtual games. Did Shai Feng have some way to make money in God's domain? Even if they did make money, it would only be after a few months. They didn't have that much time to waste. After hesitating for quite some time, Blackie reluctantly answered, I get it. You're the boss. I'll start a workshop together with you, but what about the virtual gaming headsets? We can't play the game without them, right? Shai Feng's Titan Browns immediately relaxed as he happily clapped Blackie's shoulder, saying, Now this is my good brother. Don't worry about the gaming headsets. I recall that God's Domain had a trial period available to university students. Every university has a distribution point, and as long as you show them your student identification, then for ten days you can obtain a gaming helmet for free. Let's go and take a look. What do we do after ten days? Blackie's tanned face turned to ashen, suddenly feeling his future was pitch black. Why did he believe Shai Feng? Could it be Shai Feng's confidence and steadiness? It wouldn't be a problem venturing together with Shai Feng, right? What could you do in 10 days in God's Domain? They would definitely miss out on the recruitment period of workshops after 10 days. In the end, they still had to buy the gaming headsets. But where would the money come from? Not even a professional gamer with the group would be able to earn 16,000 credits within 10 days of God's Domain's opening. Leave the money problem to me, Shai Feng revealed a confident smile as he clapped back Blackie's shoulder. Earning 16,000 credits in 10 days was indeed a pure fantasy. However, he had his spirit as a reincarnated person. No matter the challenges where he could break through them all, and the release of God's domain was the starting point of his rise. Afterwards, Shai Fang brought Blackie to retrieve the virtual gaming headsets. He then used all his money to buy two large boxes of instant noodles, placing them underneath his desk in the rented house. They were enough to last him over 10 days. After briefing Blackie on some things in God's domain, Shai Feng quietly waited for God's Domain's opening. 25th of April. 
uh, 9 p.m. Within the dark and silent room, a few gim glimmers of light flickered alive. Shy Fang laid on his bed, gently pushing the start button as he closed his eyes. God's domain, here I come. 